Fish, y'all, with some um, keto bread, two pieces, some lemon, a homemade salad with homemade <laughs> blue cheese dressing, and I also made some tartar sauce, y'all. Didn't it look delicious? Oh, we made yummy delicious. What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Welcome back, y'all. <laughs> Happy Monday. It's Sunday for me, but y'all already see what's going on. Um, I'm drinking some orange-flavored water. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, my God. I don't normally um, drink the flavored waters anymore, but that is freaking delicious. It tastes like orange Kool-Aid, y'all, honestly. All right, y'all, let's pray. Amen. All right, I'm about to make me a fish sandwich is what I'm gonna do. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna take some of this tartar sauce. Oh my god. That looks delicious. Y'all know I like lots of freaking sauce. Oop, oops. And I'm gonna take some of this Tabasco. Uh oh. Some of this Tabasco. Mmm. Mm hmm. No, I'm just gonna leave it like the open face. Mmm. 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 Good. Put some lemon on there. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my God. It's spectacular with the lemon. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. My God, it is everywhere. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I love this freaking red lipstick, but when I wear it, on camera, it literally, it gets everywhere. My God. Anyway, y'all, it's delicious, but it's not crunchy. It's not. Um, I'm going to have to figure out something else. I don't know what I'm going to do, y'all, because I'm going to tell y'all, okay? Um... <laughs> This was actually a fail in the beginning. 
um, because I tried to fry the fish in some grapeseed oil, right? With the same coating, um, if you go watch the video because I recorded it, um, you'll see what coating I used. I, you know, I'll just tell y'all. I used coconut flour and um, almond flour mix, right? And y'all, all of the coating came off, okay, while it was frying. All of it. Dang near. And then I was like, forget this. I'm about to re-season this fish because, like, I'm not coming on camera with no coating on my fried fish. Okay? So, I was like, let me redo it and put it in the air fryer this time. Did that. It came out better. But if you put something in the air fryer, it's supposed to come out crunchy. It, 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 this is not crunchy enough for me. Mm -mm. Flavor's good. Everything's good. But it's the crunch. You know what I'm saying? I need that. I want that. Mmm. Uh, who doesn't want crunchy catfish? You know? I'm just trying to figure out how to do it and keep it keto. Because, like, I don't know what to do. If anybody knows in the comments, let me know. What do you use to fry um your fish with? Uh -huh. I haven't perfected that yet. And that is something so hard because when I was watching videos, y'all, um, I had to do it. Even their fish, the uh, the braiding was falling off. And I was like, what is going on? Why are these flowers not working? I don't understand. And I did everything I was supposed to do when I put it um. Uh, in the air fryer, I've sprayed it with oil. I did all that, y'all. Um, but it is just, I don't know. I don't like it's not crunchy at all. Look at it. Okay, so the coating is falling off as I'm trying to pick it up. Oh, but it's hot and fresh. Ooh. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Still good. I see the mess out of The mess. So, I don't know if y'all heard, but Marshall's coming back. He misses doing the videos, and I miss him doing the videos. Um, so, he's coming back. <clears throat> but there might be a couple of changes, okay? Just a couple. Oh my God. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Y'all, my show is going to be loud today. Um, so, you're going to hear him in my video. Mmm. Mmm. Do y'all know that, um, let me just pull it up first. Somebody by the name of Say Cheese, um, I believe this is a tweet, um, tweeted this, beginning tonight in Kansas City, NFL teams across the league will hold a moment of silence before each game this weekend following last week's um, terrorist attack in 
Israel. Okay. So they're taking a knee. They're taking a knee. Does that look familiar? Ah, oh, yeah, it does. Because Colin Kaepernick took a knee for us. Okay. And what happened to him? Like, can y'all believe that? Like, I can't even believe it. How messed up is that? That's just telling us right in our face, they don't give a shh about us. Okay? They do not care at all. Like, y'all already know why he was doing it. And he got in so much freaking trouble. What did Donald Trump, Donald Trump was like, uh, he wanted him kicked off the, what is that? I can't remember what Donald Trump said, but he was totally against it. Totally. All of them was. Is he even playing football anymore? I don't think he is. I don't think he is. But that's messed up. Messed up. Mm. And word on the street is a lot of places in Texas are like, like if you see like the trains and stuff, you'll see like um, all kinds of like war equipment and stuff. Have y'all been seeing that? Anywhere where you are in Texas, have y'all been seeing like the trains carrying like war gear and uh, what do you call them things? Um, them tanks, all kind of stuff, y'all. I've been seeing it. Um, who else been seeing it? This lady. Uh, is this morning? Uh, the most I can't. Where is she? Yes. So I got an anonymous right email from a lady in Texas in response to my video about Hamas. And everything I, I get is anonymous. I never say the name. But she's from a little town in Texas. And she said, I just saw your video about Hamas. I just wanted to say here in the last couple weeks in my little town, which is a military town, the trains have been running at night like crazy. She says, I work overnight downtown, close to a hospital. She said, we have a, we also have a military airport. I'm omitting the name of the town and the airport from the email because I don't want to put that out there. She said, um, we've been getting a lot of military jets that have been coming in. I live five minutes from it, so I see every plane and helicopter. They won't talk about it, but they keep telling everyone to be prepared. And the, the military are having secret meetings. The veterans are coming together. Um, having secret meetings and they've even put personnel at the hospital on alert. So that's what she said. They put personnel at the hospital on alert. Why? What is going on? What is coming? Is something coming for us? Like they beefing up, um, like, uh, police and uh, just all kind of, you know what I'm saying? Security type stuff. Um, and the people in the comments, y'all. Um, this one lady says, upstate New York, um, and I live near a CPL basis. What's that? Very active, much more than usual, and I cannot stress that enough. Um, also, Somebody says, Texas here, my nephew is in the army and he told me to be careful as well and said things are happening. What is happening? Are we about to go into war? Like, what is going on? I need to know. Like, seriously. I need to know. What is going on? Are we going to be punished because uh, we're, you know... Going out the, there to fight for Israel? Like, what is going on? Like, who can't fight us? Yeah, I swear. I be watching stuff on what's going on. 
in the Middle East all day. Because you can't run from it. Um, and I'm just, I don't know. I know the gist of what's going on. But there's a lot of history to it. And there's a lot of different people talking about the history. But it seems like everybody's, a lot of people's stories are different. You know what I'm saying? It don't. It goes way, way back, y'all, to the biblical times. Okay? That's how far back it goes. And I just, I get so confused at these different perspectives on it. You know? Um, and whose land it was originally. Because I even heard that it's not even a Palestinian's land. Before... Um, it became Israel. I, before I had been hearing that it was a Palestinian land. That that was their land. They belonged there. Um, they lived there. And other people saying that's not true. And they're saying that the Bible says it, y'all. And let me know in the comments, if, if creators are not talking about what's going on in the Middle East, do y'all think they're wrong for that? Let me know. Um, because people are saying this is not the time to um, turn a blind eye to what's going on. It needs to be talked about um, because, you know... Things need to happen, and, and, and they need to hear our voices, you know, in support of them. And I agree with that. Um, even though people in America, because we are so privileged, y'all. I'm really starting to see how privileged we are. I mean, we are privileged to where it doesn't even make no sense. We are literally living our lives down here, you know... Doing frivolous stuff while kids, mamas, daddies are being bombed, y'all bombed. Babies, like that is crazy. Like I can't even imagine, you know? Um, yeah, I gotta, <laughs> um, you know, like. I don't know. And, and that's actually a privilege for somebody to say, I, I don't want to talk about it no more. It's too traumatizing. Or, or, you know, we all know that it is. It's definitely traumatizing, but we still need to talk about it. We're not going through it. You know? Uh. I feel like everybody should be talking about it, especially people that are from those places, that have family from those places, DJ Khaled ain't heard nothing from him. You know what I'm saying? He done came down here, made all his money, keep making money. Ain't said nothing for his people. I heard he was from Palestine. Um, who else is another guy um, that I believe he's from Palestine? Um, another rapper. The one that used to go with Chloe, him. I forgot his name. Look. They keep it silent, and I heard it was because um, the people that basically, you know, are over their contracts or Jewish and that's why they not saying anything and I don't know like what do y'all think about that like how do y'all feel about that 
Y'all, this is the first lemon I've ever had that did not have seeds. Like, have y'all ever gotten a lemon without seeds? Like, this is very much strange. I noticed it when I was um, making this tartar sauce today. And I was squeezing the lemon. I was holding, put, had my hand under the lemon, squeezing it. And I was like, where are the seeds? Like, dang, they done got to the lemons, y'all. Mmm. Yeah, this was a fail. A complete fail. And somebody had asked me to do fried catfish. That's why I'm doing it. And it just did not come out the keto way that I thought it was going to come out. You know? It's messed up. Anyway. Um. Yeah, like... I don't see any celebrities using the hashtag free Palestine. Most of them are saying they're in support of Israel. And, you know, I'm pretty sure no one wants to see anybody dying, you know, and getting blown up. And, or, you know, nobody on either side. I honestly feel like, no, I'm not going to say, it. I don't know. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. I just wish all of it would stop. I wish they would come to some type of resolution and, and end it. Like, um, somebody in charge, I'm not sure who it is, um, told, um, Israel that they need to, you know, cut the water back on, the electricity, all that stuff, because it's a war crime. It's a war crime, um, and it, it's against the law. You know what I'm saying? And what I don't understand is how are they allowed to do it? They're still doing it. It hasn't stopped yet. And they told them that they had 24 hours to get out of Gaza before they start bombing it. But yet, they didn't leave them anywhere to go. All of the places that they told them that they can get out at, they were bombing. Okay? And some of these people had actually left and used those routes, and they got bombed. It was almost, it's almost like a setup or something, you know? And then, um, Egypt was asked to, um, let them come over there. And y'all, Egypt said, no, they don't even want to be involved. They want to stay neutral. I'm like, what, Egypt? What? Like, what? How? I don't know. Can, do y'all understand? I guess I can't. Oh, mm-mm. I feel like they should let them come over there. Those people are in danger. They don't want their people to be in danger. They don't want to be involved in it because if they let them come over there, well, then Israel might start bombing them, you know, because the Palestinians are over there. And they just, for some reason, want the Palestinians gone. That's what I'm seeing. Like, it seems like they hate them. And I don't, I don't know. I don't understand that at all. Um, somebody was also, this is another thing that I saw. Somebody was walking around, um, Israel, uh, filming. And, um, like the Christians that are there, um, the, the Jewish people, they would walk past them and spit on them. All of them, y'all, adults, kids, everybody spit on these people, on, on the Christians. I'm like, what? Why don't, like, is it because of the religion? Like, the difference in religion? Like, these people live here too. And they would literally spit. Everybody was spitting. I was like, it ain't no kind of way I'm just going to sit there and let somebody spit on me. I'm going in the house or something. Like, <clears throat> yeah. 
mm, it's just strange to hate. It's like, y'all, there's hate everywhere. I thought we had a lot of hate in um, America, baby. It's everywhere. Literally everywhere. It's insane. Mm. But yeah, everybody stay alert. And, you know, I know Amaya is so happy that she did not join the army. I'm so happy she didn't. Because, baby, um, you know, they sending troops out there. She probably would have just, I know she would have been scared. I know she would have. I remember when she was telling me, you know, that she was going to do it. And I was like, what if they call you to go to war? Like, what? My, you not going to be scared? Mm -mm, I'm just going to have to do it. You know, she was puffing her little chest out and, you know. And I'm like, girl, you going to be scared. And thank God she changed her mind, y'all. Like, I just thank God every freaking day that she changed her mind about that. Because she could be going out there. And I was just, I was so against that, y'all. So against it. I, I was never like, um, okay, well, you know, do what you, you know. No, I don't want you to do it. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Does anybody else feel that way? Are y'all for the army and the military and all that? I just kind of, I can't. And the president said, it doesn't matter who you are, you can go um, trans, uh, what else did they say, non-binary, just everybody. Ain't no discrimination, everybody, anybody can join. Um, because they're going to be needing people. They're going to be needing people. And thank God they're not discriminating anymore but yeah this is some scary freaking times for real and I don't see how people can I don't know like be going out and having a blast and you know but all this going on I don't, I don't see how people can sit there and, and be happy and, I don't know, because I guess this is affecting some people more than others. I don't know, but <clears throat> I just want it all to stop, honestly. This is, this is, it's so serious, y'all. It's so serious. But, um... What else was going on? Oh, I wanted y'all to listen to this. This was a, um, what is this, a city council? Mayor Brandon Johnson ordered police to clear the city council chamber after members of the- All right, y'all, sorry, listen to this. May Mayor Brandon Johnson ordered police to clear the city council chamber after members of the public repeatedly cheered, booed, and chanted while people spoke about the Israel um, slash Hamas conflict. Listen to what this man had to say, y'all. To share this today in Chicago, there was a special city council meeting where they talked about what's happening in Israel and as well as Gaza. During this meeting, they condemned Hamas. They prayed for the safe return of the hostages and they showed support for Israel. Oh, yeah. What they failed to do was talk about anything happening to the Palestinians in Gaza. And during this meeting, there was someone who spoke and you have to hear what he said. Our next speaker is Gabriel Miller. I would, I, I would like to add my voice to the chorus here today in opposition to this ridiculous resolution. At a time when the rest of the world is condemning Israel for committing war crime after war crime, Chicago is fiddling around on whether to condemn Hamas. By doing so, Chicago will be doing its part in enabling the genocide of Palestinians. And this resolution acts like it's on the side of innocent civilians. So in that case, I'd like to add, 
Are you considering a resolution condemning Israel for what using white phosphorus against the civilian population? Are you considering condemning Israel for its planned war crime of forced removal of one million Palestinians from northern Gaza? Are you going to condemn them for cutting off food, water, and electricity to Gaza? Another war crime called collective punishment. Did it ever cross your mind to condemn Israel when they assassinated Palestinian journalist Shireen Abu Akleh in broad daylight? Or when they brutalized the people carrying her coffin peacefully? Or when Israeli snipers killed innocent peaceful protesters throughout the march of return? Did the people in office before you ever consider condemning Israel at any point since its inception when it crammed a country full of people into a 60-mile corner of their own country, creating the largest concentration camp in history, the largest open-air prison in the world? The answer is a resounding no. You never considered it, nor did your ancestors. But unfortunately for you, times have changed. The world is increasingly aware of the crimes of Israel and increasingly aware of the framework of politicians who enable their continued apartheid by resolutions such as these. And in a city like Chicago, with majority black and brown people who have experienced the apartheid-like conditions of oppression in the United States, a generation of young people have emerged who understand immediately that we have everything in common with the Palestinian people and nothing in common with the brutal Zionists under who they suffer. A generation of people who are not surprised when we find out that our politicians, up to our president, spread lies about 40 babies being beheaded in order to rationalize... Yeah, I heard about that, right? About the babies um, allegedly being beheaded. It wasn't even true. Somebody made that up to try to give an excuse as to how um, Israel was acting towards um, the Palestinians, y'all. Somebody literally made that up. By genocide. We're only surprised that they're forced to walk those lies back. But of course, the damage is done. People are still spewing the debunked lies about rape and massacre of babies, even here in this very meeting. When actually there is endless evidence of Israel having killed over 500 babies in the last 48 hours alone. Hmm. Having dropped more bombs in 24 hours than the U.S. dropped on a... Haven't y'all noticed that? How nobody is talking about... Like all these people in the government, no, nobody is talking about um, what Israel's doing and how horrible they are to those people, to the Palestinians. They, uh, the only thing they're talking about is what the Palestinians, uh, I mean, what Hamas did to them and condemning, condemning um, Hamas. But what about Israel and what they're doing? Like everybody sees what they're doing. Why are they not being condemned? Afghanistan in one year. And finally, let it be known that condemning the attack as the actions of some fringe group misses the point of what's going on. The attacks were carried out by a broad coalition of groups from every section of Palestinian society, not just Hamas. That coalition represents a people determined to attain freedom at any cost, and they have arrived at this point in the face of a broad coalition of right-wing Zionists and their supporters like those in the city council who would start a meeting with a prayer calling for their attempt at freedom, a second holocaust, where I'm so silent you could hear a rap piss on cotton when innocent, peaceful Palestinians are annihilated day in and day out like the Native Americans of this country. If it were another time, these same people would be condemning Africans for rebelling against the slave masters during slavery, such as Nat Turner or in the Haitian Revolution. Thank you. Okay. Thank God. Somebody said it. And he hit every single point. And I'm glad they heard it. Y'all should have seen the way they was looking when that when this man was talking. It was um how many black people up there? One, two, three, and it was just dumbfounded. You know, after he was done, the black lady she picked up her drink and took a drink. You know, it, it they didn't they didn't have a a reaction, you know? I'm like, how could you how could you just I don't yeah this is crazy. Did y'all hear Obama? Obama talking about did y'all hear what he said? You know, it, he's behind Israel also. So was he. I was like, wow. I wonder how Michelle feels. Because sometimes Michelle, she feels differently from her husband. I wonder how she feels. Because I haven't heard that she um, said anything. Like, it's a lot of celebrities, y'all. They're not saying nothing. I ain't heard nothing from Jay-Z, Beyonce. I ain't heard nothing from Nicki Minaj. I ain't heard nothing from 
no like have y'all let me know in the comments because i haven't i haven't heard nothing from hardly any celebrities some celebrities some celebrities um told how they felt and some like big um like influencers um also did but most of them have not said a word. One freaking word. And I'm proud of the people on TikTok, TikTok that's been um, showing up and speaking out um, for Palestine. Um, yeah, that, that made me proud. And it was some, some big people, too. Some big creators. Um, but y'all, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't respect people who's not freaking talking about this. You know? At least give your opinion. Like, let us know that you care. At least. Y'all, look at that. Oh, my God. That's what a lot of people don't like about catfish. You know? Let us know that you care. That you have some type of heart. not That you just not ignoring what is going on. It's a whole freaking war. I'm so mad about this. I don't even understand. I was actually going to get Cabo today. I was like, no. I'm going to go in here. I, I went and I got this daggone fish. I'm going to cook him. And I should went and got Cabo. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, one more thing, y'all. You know the guy that the Colorado police officer mm -hmm. has been convicted in the the guy who um the officer um that was convicted in 2019 of the death of Elijah McClain. Y'all remember Elijah McClain? The young, the young black man, um, I believe he had, did he have autism or something? He had something. I don't know. Anyway, he was on his way. Hold on, let me look. 2019 right death of Elijah McClain, an unarmed black man who was put in a chokehold, then injected yeah, with that. a powerful sedative. Mm -hmm. The jury found Aurora officer Randy Rodima guilty of criminally negligent homicide and assault. Former officer Jason Rosenblatt was acquitted. McLean was walking home from the store after buying some iced tea. His family says he wore a ski mask because of a blood disorder that made him feel cold. Officers stopped, questioned, restrained him, and then until the paramedics injected him. He died three days later. Another officer and two paramedics are still awaiting trial. A Colorado police officer has been convicted. Well, thank God for that. I wonder why the other officers was acquitted. I didn't even know that the paramedics were on trial. Like, they were charged. I didn't even know that. Maybe it was the chokehold and whatever they injected him with that um, ultimately unalived him. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway. Um... Everybody just keep on praying because this is, I don't, I just don't know what is going on in this world. I know we in the end times. I know that much. What my mom been telling us about all these years, it's here right now. So <clears throat> y'all stay prayed up and um, free Palestine. Okay. That's how I feel. How y'all feel? Let me know in the comments. Um, and stop all the fighting and come to a resolution. That's what we need. We need a resolution. We need the Palestinians freed. That's what we need. We need them free and we need all the fighting to stop. Period. Like, th I feel like this can be something easy, easily done. You know, just stop. You know? Um... 
Anyway, yeah. Did, did I finish telling y'all about them giving them? Oh, yeah, I did. 24 hours to leave. Like, and the 24 hours is up, y'all. So, they're probably over there just, you know, bombing folks up. Like, it, it's just sick. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, I can't say it's 10 out of 10. My salad was good. The flavor on the fish was delicious, but it just was it was a fail. Okay, let's just say that. My tartar sauce is bomb, though. Um, it was a fail. Like, I, I literally can't believe And I'm full. I'm literally full. Like, I don't need nothing else to eat. And I can't eat nothing else because it's after the time <laughs> for me to eat. Because <sighs> I had to redo my meal. So it got late. Anyway, um, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok and the family blog channel, y'all. Um, I hope everybody is okay because it's a lot of people taking this real hard and like are crying every day and just, you know, um, yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Y'all yeah, don't feel like singing. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all.